Historically, we associate the image of drug markets to real people meeting in real places, and this is still the case. But in addition to that now, Internet is expanding the boundaries to virtual markets, offering new opportunities to potential buyers. And it plays an important role at local level in particular. And this is the reason why EMCDDA decided to further investigate this issue. And to do so, we have hired some of the best available experts to work with us to prepare this report. Anonymous drug markets work with two pieces of technology. The first is Tor, which is a network which allows people to communicate anonymously. The second is Bitcoin, or cryptocurrencies more generally, which allow people to exchange uh, currency on a pseudo-anonymous basis. As part of the uh, overall global drug, drug trade, it's often overstated because it was a fascinating uh, and new thing that no one could ever believe could happen, that there could be this online store that operated and it looked like any sort of other online store, but it was selling illegal drugs. I don't think they're going to take over traditional drug markets. The size is completely disproportionate. Drug mar uh, dark net markets are minuscule compared to the main drug trade, but they will undoubtedly get more and more popular, more and more sophisticated, and a lot more elusive to law enforcement. The main challenges for law enforcement, in my opinion, is uh, that we uh, have to keep up with uh, all the developments that are going on. And so there are initiatives to exchange uh, knowledge and build up a network with investigators of other countries and uh, um, on that way trying to be uh, more effective than we are at uh, this moment. The MCDDA will continue its uh, close monitoring of the fast-changing world of drug internet market. Uh, indeed, we want to produce better understanding, better analysis for action of this phenomenon. And to do so, we will continue our close cooperation with Europol and the other justice and home affairs agencies.